Hey everybody, it's Havoc. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this, the Logitech G Yeti GX dynamic USB microphone. Let's get into it. Here we go, the Yeti GX, Logitech G's first dynamic USB microphone. Also has RGB into it, light sync compatibility. What I'm excited about is that USB connectivity, but it's still a dynamic microphone. This is gonna be sweet for streams on the go, like if I stream from a hotel or if I'm gonna get some time to stream from the office, I can really capture the sound of my voice and not the background noise. Let's go over the box here before we open it up. We got the light sync, blue voice software, USB certified blue sound. Again, it is a Logitech G microphone. Streamlabs Ultra free trial comes with it. And before I get to unboxing this, something real quick to tell you, Logitech did send this to me to unbox for you all. I am a Logitech G partner. So if you would like to pick one of these up, head over to logi.gg slash havoc and you can use code havoc10 to get some money off the order so thank you logitech g for sending this over nice little action on the side here some features on the back all right let's get this thing open so we can go ahead we have the nice easy pull tabs thank you logitech g for doing that that makes it so much easier to get into these are still tough and tight but i don't have to get scissors out to really kind of like grind in there and get it. All right. Oh, we gotta do the, we have to do the stickers on the top and the bottom too. Like kid in a candy store, I wanna get in there right away. All right, there's two. And then our last one. Again, it makes it so nice they do like these easy peel up tabs for you to get the actual tape off. Do it this way. Here we go. There she is. So what we got here is our Streamlabs Ultra Free Trial. Hey, if you want that, there's the info for you. I don't need it. First person get on YouTube. Good luck to you. Obviously, it tells you how to hook everything up. Also tells you how to connect it to the mic arm if you have that. You use Logitech G Hub. We'll take a look at Logitech G Hub with this in a sec. And then it shows you how to speak into it. So obviously speak into the end. Don't point it away from you. Like some of the old like Yeti snowballs that Yeti used to do. So we got a USB-C cable. Nice that it is USB-C. So we're getting on board with everything with that. Here is a warranty card it looks like safety card you know the stuff that they have to do we have the adapter here to put it onto a mic arm like you see right here on that we'll pop that out nice kind of cardboard that's uh, recyclable i like that we'll set the mic aside to see what else we got down here and then we have the base which is right in here so i'm going to go ahead i don't think there's anything underneath here no, just the silica packet. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll take that back in there. Let's put this guy back there. We don't need that yet. We will need that. Streamlabs free trial. Okay, so we'll close this up. This box is super nice though. So let's keep the box right there because it's just cool looking, I like it. And then we have the microphone right here. Nice little paper covering to keep the plastic from getting all scratched up. I love that it's kind of a small form factor here. Um, you have the pop screen slash windscreen here on the end that comes off and you can see under there there's the actual you know microphone parts like we expect. G logo right there. On the other side we have it looks like probably a mute button and then uh, I'm guessing that's a volume scroller potentially for how loud you want your microphone. This also clicks like a mouse. I don't see a monitoring port on this to plug your headphones into, uh, but we can take a look at that in the software. And then underneath is a USB-C connection. So we'll screw this onto the stand. Easy peasy. There we go. And then this has it free flows, but it's got a nice little like tight feel to it as well. So you can also loosen it. Obviously, if you want to get on it into a mic arm, this is uh, how it would go if we were talking into it right here. And you can tighten this up more and it still gives you a little bit of flexibility, but stays where it's supposed to be. So let's get it over to the computer, get it plugged in and take a look at the G-Hub software and see how this sounds. So here we are in G-Hub and as you can see, there is a new patch specifically for G-Hub that we need to use to make the microphone work and see some of those settings. So G-Hub is updating right now. 
gonna go ahead and relaunch and then we'll see some of the stuff that included with this patch. Well, some new stuff that comes with the features of version 2023.8. We got some new features that come in for the Pro X Super Light 2 mouse, the Pro X 10 keyless. I'll be having a video on that keyboard soon. And what we're looking for here is the new devices supported. So you can see some new devices in here. What we're specifically looking for is the Yeti GX here, the third from the bottom. Um, there's also the Yeti Orb and the Litra Beam LX, which we should be reviewing and unboxing for you all soon. So please make sure you're following the channel and get those alerts set up so you can see when that video drops. But as we scroll down here, you can see there's different bug fixes and um, specifically down here, just support for the Yeti GX. Performance improvements, light sync optimizations, get the light on. Now that we have everything updated in G-Hub, it's time to plug the microphone in. So I've got the USB-C cable. This cable is actually really long. I'd say it's probably at least a six footer, maybe even a little longer. I didn't take a look at what it was there. Got the microphone and then we're just gonna do this live and see what happens here. We got lights, the Logitech logo, G logo is lighting up there. The wheel on the back. This is nice. All right, so it says the Yeti GX requires a firmware update. So the first time you install the microphone, it's gonna require an update. So let's go ahead and update that now. Now we got the firmware installed and you could see down here we have the Yeti GX. Don't judge me, I haven't updated the firmware on my G915. I need to do that, don't judge me. So we're gonna go ahead and close this there and uh, let's go into the Yeti GX. Look at this here, we got dynamic microphone like we talked about, USB, we got manual gain control, smart auto lock, blue voice, light sync. Like I said, I'm super excited about just being a dynamic microphone, having that dynamic capsule in a USB form factor. It also has the blue voice effects, which um, are pretty cool, those filters and effects. It's got the smart audio lock like we just talked about. And what's kind of killer about this is the price tag, 150 bucks. So that's pretty darn good for a dynamic microphone in this range. So again, you can head over to logi.gg slash havoc to pick one of these up. Make sure to use code havoc10 to save you some money. Let's start going through the G Hub settings now for the microphone. So it tells you where to talk into it, the manual gain control. So that's what that actually was that spinning around the back. So scroll wheel, adjust your gain, turn up your gain, increase it, sound better, turn it down, etc. So that's actually really cool. Just on the fly, you can just reach over and like make yourself louder, make the mic louder and whatnot. Like it says here, solid white means your mic is powered on. So that's what we had when we first plugged it in. Solid green means your mic is actively delivering audio. And then flashing red means you're peaking maybe and distorting. So you might want to turn down the, the gain settings there. Smart audio lock. So after you're happy with it, you can just click the click wheel and it locks in your settings there so that's really freaking cool and then over here sound like a pro we got blue voice you can start testing some stuff there i don't want to do that yet i want to go actually into the settings and um and then give it light so if you want it to do different light stuff we have fixed breathing we're just going to go pulsar or point as it comes with and then let's get into the party so here you can see we have uh enable blue voice i like how the menu system kind of takes you through what to do there and then uh, record a sample of your voice, play it back to hear what it sounds like with blue voice on or off. And then uh, playing back your voice, select a preset that you want to do there. And then you can change your mic's gain in the settings here. Right now, I am on a microphone that is not a dynamic microphone, and it's going through a Go XLR to power it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut that off, and then I will add the Logitech G Yeti GX to OBS so we can start using that as our microphone. Now I've moved over just to the Yeti GX and real quick, it is on my desk. It is not on a mic arm. So you might hear some bumps and stuff. I'd say for a dynamic mic, you really probably want to put it onto a boom arm or a mic arm. So it doesn't have all like the thumpings and clicks and stuff from the desk. So what you're hearing right now is from that microphone and you probably hear a major difference, I would assume between the last mic and this mic, but that's also why 
why I have my headphones on now because I really want to kind of see what all this stuff sounds like. What I've done here is I put my mic gain on 60 and we'll try to keep it on that going forward here. So smart lock, let's see what it does. Let's see if it locks my gain at 60 through all the settings. We'll enable blue voice because right now we don't have anything else we can do. And over here, we're automatically on the boom arm natural it dumped us into. That is one of the four preset settings you get with blue voice and you could probably hear a little different. So if I go to the bottom, let's go desk natural. You see it bumped my gain up to 70 automatically. Let me pop that back down just because that's a preset. I'll do that right there. I don't want it to like ruin anything with uh, you guys hearing in the video, but you can see here you get to change a bunch of different stuff when it comes to the lows, the highs, the mids and signal cleanup, your input gain, etc. And as I just changed that, you can see it created a new copy of that profile for me. So the desk ones, those are if you're putting your microphone on your desk like we have right now. And those are presets where the people that, you know, created these presets in blue voice, they thought if you want just a natural voice, like maybe you're working or something and need to be on a Zoom call. Or if you're a broadcaster, we have desk broadcaster, probably more meant for if you're creating content, streaming, etc. And then we have boom arm natural and boom arm broadcaster. Those are if you have a microphone arm, you can put a microphone on that. Let's do desk broadcaster. And we'll put that back down to 60 because I don't want it to be too loud for you all. So that's it when it comes to those presets. You can also, like you just saw, create your own. And if I do browse, I'm going to guess that's going to allow us to import maybe some presets that your friends or maybe additional ones you can get directly from Logitech G. I think that's going to be determined. And we'll put that back down to 60 because I don't want it to be. Then what we can do is the really fun stuff is we head over here to the effects tab. Now remember, we're still on the desk broadcaster copy we made. I go over here to effects. Here is where I get to play with all the fun stuff. So we have all these digital effects here and they're the preset ones that come with it. So alien, wild voice, demon, witness protection. What you can do here is go through and test each one of them and you hit that record button. That's right there. And then you can play it back and hear what you sound like. So what I'm going to do, let's go dual pitch. Let's just see what that is. I have no idea. Let's check it out. All right, this is dual pitch. What does it sound like? Dual pitch, testing one, two, three. Three. How'd that sound? I haven't, <laughs> I didn't do the record, so hopefully it sounded kind of cool. Something really cool that you can do with this software is do a sample recording of your voice and then go through each of the settings and hear what it sounds like. So let me sample this now. Hello, this is my voice. What does this sound like? So I'll play it back. Hello, this is my voice. What does this sound like? So if I go to alien and I hit play, oh, this is my voice. What does this sound like? We can go through every effect and hear what it sounds like. So, well, I said I didn't know what the dual pitch sounds like. Let's find out. Hello, this is my voice. What does this sound like? That's pretty crazy. So a lot of kind of really cool stuff you can do. You can also go through here and create your own sound effects. All you do is hit create, give it a name, and then you can start playing with the different settings here. If you go down here to primary voice, secondary voice, etc., and you can make your own really kind of fun voice effects there. So yeah, definitely take a look at this. Let me go back over here to blue voice and I will turn off the blue voice setting. So remember right now we're in my copy of broadcaster on the desk. And if I turn it off, let me know what you think it sounds like in the comments. Does it sound pretty good or what? I think it probably sounds pretty good coming out of the box and the blue voice settings are just the cherry on top. So here we go. Here's my voice on broadcaster desk. And here is my voice just on the microphone as it comes out of the box. This is a really badass microphone and I've said it quite a few times during the video, but I'm super impressed about having a dynamic microphone coming in at USB-C. You don't really see that. When you do, it has to go through like some sort of hardware or something to power it and make it work with all the different software settings. Logitech G came out with this and just blew it away with the software. Usually also dynamic microphones are gonna be XLR, which, you know, still costs some money, but then you have to buy something to power those. The great thing about this microphone is it's 150 bucks. And that's a pretty good investment for, I think what this is gonna sound like. I'm excited to get it mounted onto a, uh, a microphone arm and really kind of get it to a place where it should be right, kind of closer to mouth level and really kind of have that great sound. Right now I'm putting my hand in front of it and stuff. One other thing we can do, let's test this. So here's me in front of the microphone. Here's me on the side of the microphone. Here's me on the front of the microphone. 
hears me on the side of the microphone. So you should hear some difference. Like when I go on the side of the microphone, you should hear it go a lot quieter. A condenser mic, you would probably just hear that all the way around. But with a dynamic microphone, it really should have been a lot quieter. And that's the beauty of having a dynamic microphone. Gets rid of some of that kind of background noise and that other noise. So we'll finish up the video on that. Once again, thank you so much to Logitech G for sending this along. I am a Logitech G partner. If you'd like to pick one of these up, make sure to head over to logi.gg slash Havoc and use code HAVOC10. You'll get a little bit of money off your order there. Let me know down in the comments, either like maybe what your favorite preset effect was. That dual voice one was kind of fun. Um, or you know, let me know what you thought about the blue voice presets when it came with it, like the desk, broadcaster, etc. That's gonna do it for me. Thanks again Logitech for saying this over. Like I said earlier, make sure you're following the channel and hit that button so you can get the notifications. I should have a video coming up pretty soon where I'm gonna unbox and show you the Logitech Litra Beam LX. I'm really excited about that one. As always, stay safe, have fun, and as always, GG. Mm -hmm.